Scout going, you are going to be part of a virtual opening. This bar, the Uncork Charleston, come on in, was uh, of course part of what happened with the uh, demonstrations and riots and looting that happened in the Upper King area of Charleston. Since then, Uncork has made a full recovery and is open for business with practicing all sorts of safe practices uh, for COVID-19. So if you come in, you'll be wearing a mask. But what I wanted to show you today was the artwork that I have here on the wall. The artwork is a combination from different series of paintings that I've been doing over the years, some of which are old and some of which are brand new and just hung on a wall today. So a lot of what you'll see here is in, in constant flux. People are buying the work and so I'm putting in new work and all the time. So whatever you come down to Uncork Charleston, which I encourage you to do, I'll give you the hours of Uncork in a moment. But uh, what I want to do is just give you a, a, a show, uh, a little description of some of the paintings so that you can have some idea of what you're coming down here to see and also come down and have a sip of some fantastic wine that they have here. Um, come on over here for a second. They have this wine uh, that is hermetically sealed. All the cases have been replaced. They were damaged during the riots and the looting. But uh, now you can come and uh, have wine that is absolutely pristine, perfect, fresh, preserved exactly the way it should be so that you can enjoy it. Uh, they have inexpensive wine, you have a full bar as well, so you can have drinks and whatnot as you enjoy the artwork. All right, the ambiance here is great. The vibe is fantastic. They have live music. So what I would, would encourage you to do is to go and get into the socials for Uncork Charleston. Uncork Charleston. <laughs> As I mentioned, we have a lot of different series here uh, in this display, in this exhibition here at Uncork. One of uh, the, uh, the Quench Project. This is a, a favorite of mine. It's, um, it's called A Father's Love. This was painted from uh, a, a father and a daughter in Haiti when I visited there in 2014, part of a vision quest. I wrote a book called Quench and a, a video, a, um, a, a documentary short that you can find on Amazon Prime called Into Darkness. So I want you to go and take a look at the Quench Project. But because uh, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very deep, uh, it goes into many different layers of, of, of my experience as, uh, as someone trying to find out what's going on in this world. But the idea of the Quench Project basically is the desires that we have and how they've become eschewed and, and turned into something awful. Uh, the desire for wealth and, and you know, uh, the desire against the desire for water, the juxtaposition of it is vulgar and disgusting. In my mind, you know, people should just have what they need uh, instead of, you know, if you don't, can't afford it, too bad for you. So that's, there's a philosophy behind the Quench Project, and that's part of it. All right, so here's a painting uh, that I painted out uh, outside the door here. This is looking down King Street at sunset, the blazing light. Come on in and take a look. Uh, you know, the blazing light, very heavy paint, uh, kind of fun play with light, uh, the light from the cars versus the light from the sky. And here's another uh, still life painting. This is a still life uh, that I just set up, and it was... Uh, just a lot of fun to paint. It's called the Sunflower Copper Vessel. And again, nice juicy paint quality, fun stuff, something you could easily have in your home. Um, part of uh, the Quench Project, but also part of the Low Country, iconic Low Country series that I've done, the faces of the Gullah people. This is a, a Gullah woman uh, working the, the leaves uh, in, the, in the winter. That's when the leaves come in, uh, in Charleston, in the south. Um, burning daylight. And then a painting here, uh, this is the pink house, or a pink cottage. Uh, if you went down Charles, uh, down King Street, just past uh, Broad, you would, you would poke your head and see all these wonderful, beautiful, you know, exotic, lovely places that Charleston's sort of famous for. 
uh, we have so many beautiful historic architecture and all that. Here is a painting that was done also here at Uncork at one of my live demonstrations, which I have occasionally. Um, a live feed goes out on Facebook and all their socials. Uh, but this painting was done there. It's uh, basically they do, in addition to the wine, they have the, the fantastic uh, charcuterie, which is uh, these dishes that they will put together for you of scrumptious fruits and figs and cheeses and grapes and beautiful stuff. This is a painting of St. Matthew's, uh, the cathedral, which is right in the four corners of justice and in, 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 at King and uh, Broad. Uh, meeting in Broad, where you have all four uh, of the governmental and institution, they call it the Four Corners of Justice. Anyway, there's the heron that lives up in that, um, this is the, the um, night heron that, that actually lives up here and lived up in, in this area long before humans came along. So that was my commentary about that. This is a beautiful painting of a, of a snowy egret just flying into, into the marsh. This was a uh, a marsh that Nina, one of my students, uh, took a photograph from and I borrowed it and I got all these nice beautiful purples in, in, the, in the background so you have this distance uh, perspective uh, going on and, and I, you know, it's, I think it's a nice, again, a nice painting. I don't want to spend too much time because each of the paintings do have a little description uh, in addition to the price. This is a vineyard at, probably in California. Uh, again, not, not a place I actually visited. This is a lovely painting. Again, part of the, what um, I'll call the iconic Charleston, but the, also part of the Emanuel series of paintings that I've done uh, associated with the, um, the Mother Emanuel massacre. And the, um, it's just meant to be uh, a dove kind of, you can't really see the dove right off if you look at it and you see in the clouds, there's this dove. I just thought it was a nice commentary about life and the afterlife. A beautiful oak tree with, uh, with uh, lovely uh, Spanish moss. Uh, another low country sunrise. Um, and here is a series of paintings I did called Windowscapes, where I'm um, just kind of voyeur into windows, sort of seeing maybe what's going on inside or wondering what's going on inside these beautiful window boxes that are all over Charleston. And if you just come quickly with me over here, you'll see these four paintings, these are the four left of the nine Emanuel uh, series of uh, each representing one of the victims uh, uh, from the the Mother Emanuel Massacre of 2015, which we just celebrated the five-year anniversary for. This is, of course, an iconic uh, view you would see at Folly Beach. That's the Folly Beach Pier. And uh, if you come around over here, there's paintings all, all throughout the whole place. This is another view down the street uh, of King, on King Street as it disappears into the mist uh, and a beautiful rainbow. Uh, this is just looking down King Street. Um, these are a couple of drawings that I have included in part as part of the uh, presentation. Uh, this is, I call it Fighting Irish. It's just a person I asked, that I saw online. I just thought it was fascinating. And I just did a nice charcoal drawing. And a charcoal drawing of John. I call him John, but he was a homeless guy in Santa Monica. Uh, I, I just thought he was fascinating and beautiful. So I, I took his photograph and made a painting. This is part of the Quench Project in the sense that it's kind of this lonely uh, stump uh, uh, in, uh, in the Capers Island, in, the, in all the the uh, all those uh, boneyard beach, these kind of relics, historic, maybe whatever they're beautiful. And of course, I, I uh, dab, dabbed into, dived in, dove into marine wildlife painting with this lovely tortoise and I really I just had such a great time exploring colors that I don't usually paint with um, you know in painting figures people so um, I even had artwork in the women's bathroom make sure that I have in here but come on in <laughs> um, we're in the women's bathroom now and this is a, an equestrian head study that I did with a frame 
is a is a, a um, uh, an antique frame I thought was very nice. Yellow roses with a statue. Another juicy uh, still life. I love painting still lives. Here's another still life also. A vase and bowl of fruit with silver. Kind of a ceramic chalice. I love the reflections and trying to get the different colors into all the things and try to harmonize. It's one of my favorite things to do as a painter. Well, anyway, thanks a lot for taking the time to uh, be with me and go through all of my paintings. And uh, like I said, go to the website, check it out, or come here to Uncork Charleston. The hours of operation are down there below, so take a good look at them. There they are. All right. And I will talk to you later, hopefully see you in person. Six feet, keep that distance. Let's get through this thing. And I'm Rob Maniscalco signing off at Uncork Charleston. Thank you.